Let's talk about dopamine. People call it the chemical of want and desire, but why is that? Well, here's how it works. From an evolutionary standpoint, your brain rewards you for anything that will increase your likelihood of survival by releasing a neurotransmitter called dopamine in your brain. It's social media, junk food, porn, alcohol, drugs, or any other source of instant gratification is that it doesn't take us any effort. We simply have to consume and are instantly rewarded with massive hits of dopamine. It's crazy to believe, but we live in a world which is designed to stimulate our emotions in order to maximize profits. That's why ultimately, dopamine controls us on a daily basis, and that's why billions of people unconsciously focus their whole life on consuming instead of creating the lives they actually want to live. Nam 금지, 정크푸드 금지, 음료는 물만 마실 수 있음, 술과 마약 금지, 포르노, 그리고 음악 금지. 그는 이 여정을 시작하기 전 마지막 제로 콜라를 마십니다. Enjoying the last coke? <웃음> I'm gonna miss it. I'm ready to go and I'm looking forward to the next couple of days and I hope that I'm going to see some real benefits coming from this. Let's go. 과연 7일 동안 그에게 무슨 일이 생길까요? 지금 바로 시작합니다. Unlike many of my other mornings, this one was without music. Instead of grabbing my phone right away and playing a random song, I started my day in silence. Alright, yeah, I'm just going for a walk here and to be honest, it feels great. I'm already loving it. <laughs> I haven't really kept up my routine um, for the last 30 days that I was here on Mallorca. It's always a little bit difficult if you switch locations, so I didn't go for any walks, didn't do any workouts and all that kind of stuff, so um, it's definitely a goal to, to get it going again. When I came back home, I said hi to the other dogs and made myself cereals with milk for breakfast. Instead of watching a YouTube video while having breakfast, I basically did nothing which was kind of boring. <laughs> After that, it was time for work. I pretty quickly started to get into a good flow because my phone was still at the side of my bed. I didn't see any good use in having it with me as I couldn't access social media or listen to music, so I just focused on my work and got a lot of things done. After that, it was time for a good old Spanish lunch with fuet and tortilla. Spanish food is the best. First thing I noticed when I came into the car, there was music running. Immediately turned it off, but it's just so weird to drive without music. I normally listen to music all the time, especially when I'm driving in the car. Today, I'm not going to listen to anything. <laughs> 우리는 보통 식사를 할때 휴대폰으로 유튜브를 시청하곤 합니다. 그리고 업무를 할때 간간히 휴대폰과 컴퓨터를 이용해 SNS를 들여다보기도 하고 이동할 때는 음악을 많이 듣기도 합니다. 하지만 이 모든 것들이 다 도파민을 발생시키는 일이었던 겁니다. 그는 이 사소한 행동들을 하지 않고 하루를 보낸 후기를 이야기합니다. So the day is getting to an end. The sun is already setting back here. And yeah, um, it has been a successful day, to be honest. Overall, I felt very, very focused today because there were just no distractions that could pull me out of my flow. Super productive today. So you might wonder, why would you do a dopamine detox? And the thing is that for the last one or two weeks, I've been feeling really off. I was just not focused. I didn't have any motivation to create videos. I didn't want to stand in front of a camera. And I was super indecisive. Like, I thought at least 10 times if I should shoot this video or if I I should push it back and shoot it later. That's when I thought like, okay, I've got to get rid of all of these distractions and I have to focus on the things I actually want to get done. And a dopamine detox doesn't mean that you're going to detox from all kinds of dopamine, like my dopamine level is hopefully going to stay consistent. But what I'm focusing on are all of the external factors like social media, like alcohol and all the other things that just create those impulsive behaviors. Like everybody knows when you're just sitting on the toilet and suddenly you just have your phone open with Instagram. And you're like, how did I get here? And that's just the thing, like, as soon as we get a lot of dopamine from one source, 
then our brain just rewires and we have these impulsive behaviors where we don't even think about it, but we, we just do it right away automatically because our brain tells us, okay, I'm going to get a lot of dopamine from there, so I'm going to do it. And that's something I definitely want to get rid of. I want to control my own decisions and, and control my own actions. And yeah, that's why I'm going to, to detox from these sources in order to just see what kind of benefits they bring me and hopefully to do it in long term. The sun is set. The birds are still out and I still have a couple of hours to kill for today and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> Bad news, all of my cereals are empty. Actually, I wanted to just eat a couple of those ones instead for breakfast, but I'm going to stick to Spanish food again. <laughs> I'd say that the second day was just as productive as the day before. I spent all day long editing on a YouTube video where I made a lot more progress than usual. And most importantly, I really enjoyed to edit again. It felt like the motivation that I had been missing for these past weeks was finally back. So for the majority of the day, I've been editing my video on how I learned to fly FPV, made some real progress there, and now I'm actually gonna get out and do a workout in order to get back to my daily routine and stay fit. Honestly, sports without any music kind of sucks. <laughs> in the evenings, I always had very healthy and tasty meals. The evenings after dinner were usually the time when the boredom kicked in. And instead of working another few hours on my videos in order to escape that boredom, I decided to play with the animals and started to watch more and more sunsets, which really helped me to slow things down and be more mindful. So I just watched the sun go down and yeah, to be honest, I'm feeling super present. <laughs> I'm always just like listening to the birds and not having any distractions. That's just like, it's so liberating because normally I would obviously take out my phone all the time to capture everything and right now it's just like a moment of calm. 그렇게 그는 아침에 일찍 일어나 일출을 보며 드론을 날리기도 하고 SNS와 비디오 게임을 하지 않았을 때 생기는 이점에 관해 이야기도 하고 남는 시간에 술이나 휴대폰을 보면서 다른 크리에이터들과 비교를 하게 되며 악순환이 반복되었지만 이 모든 것들을 디톡스하게 되면서 어깨에 짐을 덜게 되고 좀더 창의적인 생각을 할수 있게 됐다고 이야기합니다. 이 디톡스를 시작하기 전내 주변에서 일어나는 일들엔 무관심하며 자기 몰입에만 빠져 살았기에 실제 일 외에 다른 모든 일에도 마음이 사로잡혀 있었다고 합니다. 그러나 단기적인 도파민 충격이 뇌를 자극시키는 시간이 줄어들수록 소음을 없애고 오롯이 현재 순간을 포용할 수 있었다고 이야기합니다. 뇌의 설정 값이 리셋되었다는 느낌을 받았다고 이야기하고 있죠. 그렇게 사소한 순간에 행복감을 느끼게 되고 그는 일물과 일출을 사랑하게 되었다고 I don't know why, but I'm just falling in love with sunsets and sunrises again. Overall, I really feel that my mental clarity immensely improved because I just don't hop from one activity to the next one, but I give my brain some time to actually process all of the experiences I take in, and therefore I'm overall just more calm and settled. And actually also a friend of mine with who I Skyped last night, he also told me by himself that, dude, like, you're a lot more calm than normally, like, what's happening? <laughs> and so yeah, um, I definitely enjoy it so far because all of my thoughts are just ordered and um, I'm not distracted that much. And it just feels like I experience everything twice as intensive as before because I'm just in the moment and not always on my phone thinking about the next Instagram post or Instagram story and I'm just spending all of my time in my life and not in somebody else's, which is really nice. 어느덧 챌린지는 7일차로 접어들게 되고 니클라스는 해변으로 수영을 하러 갑니다. 도파민 디톡스를 시작하고 지난 며칠간 그는 정말 즐거웠다고 이야기합니다. 분명 여기저기서 오는 유혹들이 존재했고 때론 지루함을 느끼기도 했습니다. 특히 할 일이 없는 저녁 시간대에 넷플릭스, 소셜미디어를 볼수 없었고 그 시간을 친구들과 스카이프로 대체했고 그건 꽤 좋은 대안이었다고 이야기합니다. 니클라스는 자신이 현재 객관적으로 어디에 있는지 생각해보려면 꼭 인생의 변화를 줘야 한다고 하죠. 그리고 이 지루한 디톡스가 그 방법이 될 것이니 모두가 한 번씩 꼭 시도했으면 좋겠다고 이야기합니다. 우리는 우리 주변의 모든 것들로부터 엄청난 방해를 받으며 살아가고 있기 때문이죠. 그는 이디톡스
디톡스를 진심으로 즐겼으며 며칠 몇 주간 이 디톡스 효과가 유지되길 바라며 지낼 것이라고 이야기합니다. 그리고 자신의 인생에 전반적인 변화를 이루길 기원하고 있죠. So what do I take away from these last seven days? While things like junk food, alcohol, and porn were pretty easy to avoid, other things like social media and music were a lot harder for me. Driving without any music is fucking boring. But from one day to another, I noticed more and more benefits coming from this detox. First off, I was able to restore my daily routine by going for walks and working out. That walk felt amazing. <laughs> As my brain was not constantly overwhelmed by so many dopamine hits from external sources, I was able to replace those toxic activities with things that actually make me feel present and alive. I was able to focus my time on the things which bring me fulfillment like working on my business, doing sports or learning a new hobby. I normally needed a lot of motivation in order to get started with those activities but from time to time they kind of became effortless. I not only became more productive and focused but I overall feel like everything around me started to slow down. Can you see how fast the clouds are moving? It's insane. Not having all of these distractions at my fingertips allowed me to finally catch a breath and wipe my mind clean of any stressful thoughts. These seven days really showed me once again how much noise we usually expose ourselves to on a daily basis. It was mind-opening to see how lowering our excessive consumption can improve so many different aspects of our lives and therefore our overall happiness. I think that a detox like this can help everyone to see what it's like to live without this noise and it is the first step to gain back control over your own life. So try it for yourself.